three more years to live. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, and see, mantra, mantra allows, again, you can remain with yourself the self through mantra and observe the fact that these things are occurring without a thinker and, a, and an experience and an experiencer is just passing through. And your concentration, you're keeping the mind busy with mantra, so it can't create stories based on what it's seeing you doing and taking credit after the fact that I did this, and this is how it turned out. And because this turned out this way, I can repeat that process because that's where the whole desire and expectation comes in. I do something, my mind takes credit as the doer and then says, we can continue to do this. We can keep doing this in this way. And then when it doesn't work out in that way, then it's all depression and sadness and all this kind of stuff because basically you're trying to just repeat something. That's where the expectation comes in. If I do this, then this will occur because this happened last time. Mm. And I think that's in, in the Bible it talks about that where he hit the rock and got water. And then he said, okay, no, 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 it's not hitting the rock anymore. It's, it's like hitting the sand or whatever. But he wanted to hit the rock because the rock is how he got the water before. Yeah. I think that's right. Right, Andrew? I, I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I think you're right. Yeah, it's like uh, doubting, you know, a new command to do something different. Whatever. Exactly. But yeah. our thing is we want to repeat the same thing, believing that it's going to be the same way. And that's the conditioning. That's the, the desires and the fears and the expectations and all these things. Desire is to continue doing something, continue to feel something or get the same result of something. You know, the desire to repeat an experience. But the truth is, you were not an experiencer doing the experience. The experience happened through you. But when the mind and the ego sense of self takes ownership of having done this thing, then it believes it can repeat this process and continue in this way. Because it's taken ownership and it says, I did this, so therefore it can happen again. And then there's frustration when it doesn't happen again because there's an expectation that this will be the way it is, and it's not. It's constantly changing. If you change with it, because you're not creating an experiencer who's desiring that same experience again in the same way, and we always say, like, it's never going to be as good the second time as it is the first time, whether it be a roller coaster or a new job or a new or dating or any of these things, it's never going to capture that initial moment because that was spontaneous. And all the other things are to try to make it repeat that because a doer has been created that wants to do it again and believes that that experience can, can once again occur. And it's never the same because it wasn't the spontaneous experience or the, the spontaneous happening that was there. The desire is to repeat the spontaneous happening and it won't be spontaneous. So therefore there's, an, there's something missing because there's a thought process, a mind, ego, intellect that's getting involved in trying to do something. And it ruins the experience completely. Yeah, it's kind of like what you just described was the genius of the universe. <laughs> 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 then it, it keeps on changing it just so you won't do that. You know what I mean? That's part of the lesson. Exactly. So and so that's why living from the point where you're not holding on to anything, you go with the spontaneity and then every experience is fresh, is real, is true. Because there is no thought process of doing it. It's happening spontaneously and you are there. You no longer have this mind, ego, intellect that keeps keeping in the past and comparing present experiences to past experiences and expecting them to be the same or better. So, sort of a tendency of the mind or of the human is to want, you know, th this desire to have things turn out a certain way. True, yeah, definitely. Because we think we know how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Well, and again, looking at yourself as an individual rather than the self as self. Because as sky, then there, it can't turn out any other way other than the totality. Everything is as it is. It's only when you believe yourself to be an individual that there can be a cause and effect based on the point of view that I'm seeing and believing myself to be. Mm. But there is no individual and nothing's happening for an individual. 
It's the totality acting. I think we talked about before the, the ecosystem where, you know what, it, there's too many little fish. So fish have to die off in order to get the balance of the ecosystem. But if you're a fish, <laughs> seen from the point of view of a fish, well, screw the ecosystem. We need, you know, <laughs> we need to live. <laughs>